Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and, um, well, happy anniversary to Windows 10. It was on this date, July 29th, 2015, that Windows 10 was released to everybody. It is a version that was available for free to anybody that wanted to upgrade their operating system. Uh, Windows 7 could be upgraded to Windows 10 for free and that offer was good for one year so you could just upgrade and everything was nice and you would be activated with a digital license and of course this was a very uh, big moment for Microsoft as it wanted to you know push the world into Windows 10 lots of surprises when this happened because after Windows 8, 8.1 a lot of people were thinking, well, you know, Windows, Windows 9, they jumped over Windows 9. You kind of can say that Windows 8.1 is probably Windows 9. But, you know, this is marketing. Uh, the numbers don't really mean much in Windows sphere. So, the first version of Windows 10 was built 10.240. And it was actually released to insiders on July 15th. Uh, 14 days before the uh, general population. The new operating system had an uh, interesting welcome. Uh, you know, the start menu was back to normal or almost at tiles, but it was different. Uh, of course, lots of things were unfinished, like Microsoft Edge. And, uh, well, since then, four years later, we're now at the May 2019 update, which is the latest release. Uh, things have changed uh, to, uh, you know, users from Windows 10 on. Uh, they were trying to do two updates a year. It was even worse because they were even trying to plan three updates a year at one point, which was totally nuts. Already two is too much. And it was actually in the same year there was an update released uh, in later in the year. And um, so Windows 10, you know, uh, caught on. It was predicted to reach a billion users in um, mid-2018, and uh, we're not there yet. But we believe that that billion number also uh, was counting Windows phones that died not that long after Windows 10 was released. The uh, upgrade process, free upgrade process, did attract a certain number of people. And if you're wondering, you know, so I can't have it for free anymore? Yes, you still can. If you purchase a, or if you have a Windows 7 key lying around um, that's unused, you can actually activate Windows 10 for free uh, by upgrading your Windows 7 computer. Same with Windows 8. You can actually upgrade with that Windows 8 key. It will be accepted and will upgrade to Windows 10 for free. That is still a loophole that works and we think Microsoft just doesn't care, really. That's why they just leave it there. Because they want to have the maximum amount of people in, uh, in there. So, they predicted a billion. We're still not there, but we might be there soon. As more than 800 million people are now using it four years later. It had, of course, many ups and downs. Many versions that came out that were buggy many versions that were great um, creators update fall creators update were pretty good um, april 2018 update april and october 2018 update were a little more buggy and you know they are taking their time now they really really tested the last version 1903 much more than the other versions before so yep four years today that we um, started basically making videos of Windows 10 pretty much. Well, I made them a little earlier because I was on the Insider program. But uh, kind of interesting when you think about it. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching. And why not, in the comments below, let us know what you think of Windows 10 and what do you think about four years of Windows 10? Is it better? Did they improve upon certain things? Uh, I'd like to know what you think.